Welcome back to my special LP of Sword of the Stars. I'm Hunter Black Luna, and it's Tarkus time again. <clears throat> System update. All right. It's been a while since we were at Tarkus High Command, that's for sure. Our dramatic attack towards the enemy will be there in 10 turns. Now the question becomes, how much help can we give? Alright, we have 5 turns to build up if we want to send him from the homeworld, which is probably where we should send him. So in 5 turns, we must launch the strike in order for it to be a simultaneous attack. And I'm hoping the fact well, frankly, I'm hoping that our Hiver AI is competent enough to see the large waves of enemy attacks coming towards them. It's gonna be a while. It's gonna be a while, but we can just hope they can handle it on that point, considering they still have a decent amount of ships. I know I left some ships for a reserve of defense. In any case, let's look to our own affairs. Quark Resonators. Let's go find those on the tech tree, shall we? Power Tech Shield. Drone Bio Industrial. Quark Resonators. Uh, increases hull strength. Ah, yeah, it just makes ships tougher, just period. I like Quark Resonators. Modular Construction. How's that go? Ah, it's a, that's the Q ship. I'd love Dreadnoughts too, but we just don't have the capability for that stuff. Yeah, we're still firmly in cruiser territory, everybody. And I'd like to change that. I really would. Well, we have detonating fusion torpedoes, which is pretty cool. Let's see what the AI decided to research. Well, a lot of good stuff, a lot of good stuff, a lot of, a lot of eh, too, but... <clears throat> well, it's an AI, and it didn't really know what we wished for it. Shaped hyperfields. Shaped hyperfusion. I am led to understand that this is an enormous boost to our ships, so we're going to get shaped hyper after we're done with quark resonators. But we're actually going to focus on building up savings for the most part because we're going to pump out ships with our current tech and send them to help. Of course, once we figure out what we can spare, let's look at our navy. We've got a lot in service, but the question is how much of that is freight? Filter. Maximum number of ships. We have a decent amount of ships at Zectus, but they're mostly destroyers. Royal Guard. Location. Okay, Lolum has a ton. Lol, 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 lol. Overall, though, yeah. I uh, kind of expected our naval strength to be low. I wasn't really expecting it to be that low. But we are going to focus everything. Getting to the home world. Hmm. Alright, it takes five turns to get there. And it takes five turns to get over there from the home world. Wait a second. Yeah, it takes five turns for vessels mounting fusion engines. Oh, we have a constructor too. That's not bad at all. What's the big... Ah yeah, so we need ships with fusion engines. I think... 
Yeah, that gives him the speed we need. So these ships wouldn't be useful anyway. I don't really want to scrap them though. I don't usually want to scrap a lot because even the older crap that's totally useless isn't. You can use it for interior defense or interior decoration. Cruiser point defense. This is what I like to see. This could make something resembling a difference. I'd love to go over to the enemy system and build a platform. Too many command ships. Now this is the good business. Yeah, definitely. We'll move these ships up as well. And we'll move the most modern command. All right, now we have three command ships. That's that's too many, but it will do. We want the little heart along because it will greatly boost our fueling capability and let us get over there and get back in case the going gets rough. Furthermore, yeah, two. You know what? Two little hearts should be plenty. for what we can muster. Alright, we've mustered 15 cruisers, most of which are support ships. God, we're gonna leave ourselves vulnerable, but I think it might be worth it. Our path is clear. Engaging warp engines. You guys can most definitely get over here. Ooh, apparent salvage. I want you guys with the fleet. The Armada moves as one. Police cutters everywhere. Eh. I guess that's okay. Gelnorm Askas pulsed vision too slow. Assault shuttles would be fun to use on them. Hankara. Biome colonizers. Yeah, biome colonizers are really good. I didn't get them since there's not much to colonize left, but it would be... You know what? Let's add some biome colonizers to our task force. Alright, so there'll be two turns out. I gotta juggle a lot of different things. Yeah, that's our navy, guys. We need to get working on that, don't we? Oh, ship design. Alright, we are going to keep it simple. We are going to keep it real simple. Oh, God. We could use some rising sun. Why can't I put medium? Oh, it's a strafe. That's dumb. You're dumb. I have some missiles. PD honor. Now oh, that's a proper. What you guys don't need is all this stuff. I just want to make a cheap repair ship. You're not going to see frontline combat, and if you do, we're doomed anyway. Yes. Rising Sun honor. Mark 19. Ship design ready for construction. Oh, but there's a Mark 20. Wait. Oh, I get it. Derpa derpa derpa. Put away for a couple days. I might show signs of rust. I forget how good Tarka's point defense is, but we're gonna assume pretty good. I'm tempted to put dumb fire missiles on this thing and tell it to charge. Let's do that and see how it goes. Hint, badly. Even on the back. Oh, this is a forward firing dumb missile. This one can be a regular missile. And PD. Now see, these things will be seeing combat, so we'll keep the upgrades on it. 
And it's gonna be expensive as hell, but whatever. This design will be saved for future reference. Well there, Kalu. Egg tender is the barrage. Detonating fusion. Fuck yeah. Good business. I can't see this being anything but a long range vessel. Let's mount her with sniper cannons. Midas friggin... How many torpedoes on this thing? It doesn't tell m just the two? You'd think Barrage would have more. Isn't that specifically the... the idea behind? Well, I guess different uh, races have different designs, but I don't know, a human ship would be bounding a lot more. Lots of PD, of course. Missile mount is fine. That's a weird... See, the thing seems like it should be short range because of those nice forward mounted heavy combat lasers, but... Oof. Oh, a boarding cruiser. We gotta have one of those at least to try. Alright, this thing's an abomination. Ah. Uh, just load her up with missiles and see how we go. Yes, Vakona. Ship design ready for construction. What a mess. You weren't supposed to take over halfway but for the AI. Which is why this is such a blasted mess that's so ridiculous. There's no change! Why'd you upgrade? Whatever. If I sit here yelling at the AI, we are going to be here a long time. This should just about do the business. Yeah, yeah. That's good. Chaka. This design will be saved for Ooh, future chaka, reference. Chaka, chaka, chaka. Vakona. Remove that. I wish it didn't go to the top every time that happened. Egg Thief is a blazer. I like that. Let's give this thing as many HCLs as we can mount, and that's five. Plus a particle beam on the forward mount. And a dumb fire rack or two. Why not? This thing's gonna get up close and personal, do some brawling. For the rear, rear missiles just seem like a decent idea so that even, even this will be firing like a pair of missiles and that's not too bad. Yes, Vakona. Ship design ready for I don't know why we would name our ships about thieves and stuff, but hey. Oh, this isn't going to work. Not to the satisfactions of my sense of speed. So we're just gonna do upgrades and then forget it. We've done a blazer, we've done a barrage. PD ship. I don't know why Goss point defense would be superior to laser point defense. It looks like it's better. It just better period. <laughs> We could put sniper cannons. All these interesting designs I want to try, but it hardly matters. This thing, where are these weapons mounted? Oh, everywhere. Well, that makes sense. Trippy. Yeah, I definitely like the idea that this ship is made to shoot pew pew lasers, like 8 billion pew pew lasers. I've always wanted to try a design like this. I'm not sure how well it will work, but we can try.
This design will be saved for future Everyone's reference. Everyone's yelling at me. No, little lasers are useless now. You fool. You've doomed us all. Whatever. We're fucked anyway. Wonder how Bricada fared in combat. Let's update you to be something a little cooler. We don't have a boarding ship. These were horribly affected with the Zool, like... I remember specifically one time where the enemy launched boarding pods at my Dreadnought. It broke apart in half a minute. Like, no actual weapon could do that. But the Zool were fucking broken anyway, so I don't know. Yeah, crank missiles on this... Well, if it's a boarding ship, shouldn't that mean I want to get into close range? Yeah. For some reason, I never found particle beams a compelling weapon, and I don't know. They're just not very compelling. No. Ah, uh, laser PD ever works. This thing's main weapons are just gonna be the boarding pods. Let's give you a hammerhead, though, for a little bit of a sense of fair play. Kata Mark Three. Yes, Vakona. Ship design ready for construction. Congratulations on your new lease on life. Is there anything else we want? Nope. Looks like we're good. Destroyers don't matter. Except if we might design Yeah, an assault shuttle one. Let's try it out. This thing will just cower in a corner while it does the business. Plasma focusing to boost your range. We'll see how this little thing fares. Obsidian blade. This design will be saved for future reference. Okay. Arcona. And I'll make a tanker that can keep up too, just cause. Won't have anything on it but this though. Tanker. Infinitas. Yes, Vakona. Ship design ready for Alright, now we just crank from shipyards. Oof. Chakas. Alright, we don't need that many strike for there's more command ships than regular vessels. What in God's name? No, no, stop that. Stop that right now. You are sinking your money into smart shit. Such as... Oh, oh I don't know. Mm. Another repair and salvage would be good. One of these, one of these. Some modern frigging vessels. Sorry. All this other stuff. Ugh. We'll get a nice number of obsidian blades. We have. Ah, two tankers, why not? help offset some more fuel costs as in the actual cost of the fuel we will be using I like blazers I don't know now let's go ahead and ruin the economy to do it alright we need the fleet done in four turns we will be able to marshal, marshal something. Let's make sure everybody has fusion. They don't necessarily need the range enhancers, we will although that's good for fuel Vulcan capacity. All right, this task force will be ready, so we actually can pretty much pump into research and pray. Cogroll. Cloaking! Fuck! System update. Uh oh. 
Kagrel's got a problem. And we've got an answer, don't we? Oh, are you guys joining the wrong... Yes, you are. You're joining the wrong fleet. Brilliance. I just mostly want these guys out of my goddamn way. Alright. We embark as ordered. We're gonna try and save Cogrel. And even if we can't, we'll still roughly be on track. For a fight. For the rumble tonight. Defend Wuna. Hey, you're the guys who are going to need to come up with good stuff. Anoshi versus 16 cruisers. There we go. Now the loyal sons are mustering what they may. That's pretty much everything. Also probably churning out new ships. That's good. That's good. I like that they're actually reacting well. And that they didn't tell this task force to turn around. That would have been very negative oh the enemy they are mustering this is going to be quite climactic <laughs> I'm hoping the twelve dreadnoughts really do it they might have dreadnoughts of their own but and I don't know how smart the AI is with their dreadnoughts hopefully they keep the fleet order I sent them and they don't put out destroyers first either We'll just have to see about that. There, put you guys in that. Put everyone who's useless in this fleet and the useful people in this fleet. There you go. System update. A construction station is completed. Oh, cool. Varicona. Doesn't that boost our industry too? Not bad, not bad. Alright, some new destroyers coming out. Egg Thief. Our path is clear. Engaging warp engines. The ETA on that still eight turns. Well, we can refuel there, and that can be a good rally point, I suppose. Might mess up our logistics a little, but not by much. We're not going to be able to muster a whole ton to the fight, but anything will be better than just watching it happening and then laughing. That's a that's a negative business. I just added three turns to our... Or did I? Whatever. Also, I'm praying they don't hit us. It looks like they're mustering their forces for a defense, though, so... Alright, we lose that gate. Those System cloak ships... Update. ...are a real goddamn problem. These ten cars are the only thing defending Kuvalt. Well, and eight ships from our friends. You know what? You still need LDPs. Like, more than anything. Could also use some of this stuff, I suppose. Ah, uh, maybe just some destroyers. So many police cutters, and different... That's all you have. Here, have some Vanu Vars as well. You heard him. We must increase the fleet. Alright, this colony is almost... Yeah. 
Whatever gets started anyway. This game will go long enough for you assholes to finish, at least. Alright, just making sure. Four cruisers a turn is not bad. As you wish, Varcona. Seven turns till the rumble. Enemy's got a lot to answer for. System update. Let's move these police cutters up. Oh, they don't have anything at all. Huh. I guess that makes kind of sense, but... Alright, we must depart when their ETA is three turns, so we have three turns. So therefore, this round of reinforcements will be... We embark yep. as ordered. That's what we can add, like 20, 30 cruisers to the fight. Uh, it'll be something. We can but hope. Go ahead, keep building these ships. You heard him. We must increase yes, the fleet. Increase the fleet, please. Oh, really? 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 Oh, my God. Oh, I can't watch. Seriously, what the fuck is with the Von Neumann raids? There's no goddamn excuse. They've got cloaked ships. Our friends have enough. Certainly to mount a... Oof. Both of our friends have enough. There's no way that attacks. Doing anything. System update. To reclaim you from the black. Ha! I keep forgetting that the two AIs can now talk to aliens. Info. I hate you. Didn't feel like typing out a personalized message of my hatred. Alright, we can get a good scan on their fleet composition. Cruisers galore. Everything's a goddamn cruiser. Hivers. The Hivers mostly have destroyers in this fight. That's interesting. Those aren't going to be very effective against our Dreadnought line. As soon as we rally everybody... We can head the hell out. Yeah, even this crap that just is crap and useless and crap. Cogrel? Ah, uh, wrong place to attack, Holmes. Wrong place to attack. Oh, and they've got their gate back up. That's good. System update. All right, what the fuck happened? Repair operations begin. Well, we can check. Engaged enemy ships at Cargo. We lost a ship. In trade for eight of the enemy. Oof. A whole cloaking fleet. Fuck. Even so, the tail of the tape reads heavily in our favor. Very heavily. Wouldn't be that way in a direct fight, let me tell you. It would probably be smart to assemble our fleet, however. Um. Actually, I don't care. Just take the ships that are not going to want to see combat. Put them in the back. 
I wish. Oh. Yeah, Warcry. Golder Kalu. Rising Sun is repair and salvage, so they go at the end. Even Obsidian Blades can probably go at the end. Um, we'll keep them there, I don't know. A little hard as refinery. Infinitas is tankers. There we go, that's a good order of battle. And we'll stay there to help with the defense. Next turn we set out. I don't know why they're not diverting any help. System update. There has been a new discovery for Oh Bonnet. hell yeah. Now that's just nice. We lose nothing. They lose a bunch. Defenses hold. They get a lot of shots in. Where are our friends? The gates are up. There's a gate there. Send some of your dudes. We need to get moving. Loyal sons, defend cargo. Now. There we go. That should reroute some ships. If the AI is smart. <laughs> In any case, we really don't have time to sit around here. I hope your enemies fared worse, Marcona. Gas everybody up, and we are prepared to rock and roll with our little shitty strike force. We embark as In any order. case, we've got the coordination down. We are gonna hit with a hell of a strike. About a hundred vessels of our alliance with good dreadnought support. They don't have any dreadnoughts on scene according to our scans. Overall, I'm pretty positive about things. Quark resonators. Shaped hyperfields. No doubt. Your word you damn is law, right. Varcona. Research you damn in this right. area begins now. Wow, this planet got devastated as hell. Oof. Actually, hold on. All those ships we produced. Let's move those over to Korvath. Your word Just is law, in case. Varcona. Another fight at Cargo, please tell me you... Oh... You know what? You know what, Loyal Sons? We fought for Cargo. We really did. Fought more than your dumbasses managed. Dreadnought fights going on. Oof, eight enemy dread... <laughs> Holy shit. However, given the power of defensive forces, those dreadnoughts should die. Actually, the results at Anoshi System should be updates. one of the more interesting things to me. Yeah, their dreadnoughts got ripped apart. It doesn't look like they have much in the way of repair capabilities. Whereas our buds got moderate damage on their dreadnoughts. And our other buds... Okay, yeah, there's no way the enemy's gonna succeed. This is only going to result in dead enemy dreadnoughts, which is good. The very fact that they're throwing DNs against us is... certainly nerve-wracking. I'm not a fan. Yes, Bakona. We'll have Having trade maximized is a great little buffer on morale. Guvalt's done terraforming. That's good. Oh, I think I see what happened there. Unfortunately. Additional freighters are required. Don't care. 
So don't care. Oh my god, you guys. We tried. We tried to help you. And our friends have their ships repaired. The enemy doesn't have their ships repaired. Thus, what happens System at Anoshi? Update. Yep. Yep. Yep, yep. And let's send these guys to... Yeah, okay, Sotham. Put up some frontline defense against the enemy. Ho <laughs> ho. I'll tell you what, Zotrak is the place to watch though. Our fleets now converge. Well over 200 vessels for the enemy. 100 for us. We've got dreadnoughts. How is this going to play out? Hmm? I guess you'll have to watch the next video. I'm Hunter Black Luna. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you guys next time.